Hey everyone, Sean Clement here for Golf WRX at our facility at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, headquarters for Wisdom in Golf. And we're on a third episode of the, for the advanced player. We talked about how important finding your flight plan is for each shot. So you have to have, not only obviously you have your end target, but you have to have a very specific flight plan, the curvature, the height, right? And that's going to help you set up. The setup then matches the picture. And then finally, you really need to deliver on a specific feel. Inside your brain is a little section called the premotor cortex. Its sole purpose is to pre-fire inside your central nervous system to get you ready to perform a specific task. Let's say the task was a free throw in basketball, right? So many of you know what that feels like. So I take a regulation basketball, brand new, nice grippy one, you know, really nice, you know, air pressure. And I'm given that, that perfect flick, beautiful arc, swish, nothing but net. Now, take that same, you know, take that same scenario. We're doing a free throw, but we're gonna do a, we're gonna take a 12 pound shot put <laughs> or 12 pound bowling ball. You can't exactly flick a 12 pound bowling ball. So we're going to have to switch around and really heave that ball into the net. Well, didn't you feel and experience exactly what I was talking about while I was describing it? That was your premotor cortex at work. So while you're standing over the ball and you're down the stretch, and you're neck and neck and you really have to win this match to get to the finals. You know, you, your, your goal is to be the club champ. And you get to, you know, that tee shot on 17, it's a long par four into the wind and you're standing over the ball and you're going, okay, man, I gotta really, I gotta, and you're feeling, you know, you got that headwind and it's 460 into the wind and you got trouble on both sides. You're feeling that tension and you, you're getting ready to hit the ball hard. Can you feel, right? Versus, you have a very clear picture on how you're gonna hold that ball under the wind and deaden the impact and you hit that low draw with ease and velocity. So you're going to use the weight of your club and deliver a nice low effort sling or whip in the direction you want to start the ball and with ease, but a nice velocity, a nice compression. Notice how I described each one. So one, you're, you're being a little too desperate and the other, you're very clear on what feel you're about to use. So I'm, I'm putting my bet on the second one and you're going to see just how important it is to choose the feel that you want to use to deliver into your task. So the one that you're getting ready to hit the ball hard, well, that's like a race car driver um, getting ready to, uh, to accelerate very, very quickly on a nice set of summer slicks, but he's on a cold, wet track. And if he floors it, now all he's gonna do is a bunch of donuts and probably blow the engine versus somebody who's feeling how we're gonna get the maximum grip out of those tires with the situation we have and, and stay in the race. So same thing here. I want to deliver, let's say a draw. I'm going to start it on green and draw it back towards red. So I aim on red, play the ball a hair back, close the face, and I'm getting ready to deliver towards green. And I got a two club win in the face. So I want to deliver. I got an extra two clubs in my hands and I want to deliver with ease and velocity in the direction that I want to start the ball. Well, what's that going to feel like? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm using the weight to deliver that way. So that felt easy and it had a nice velocity and that felt like I was able to deliver quite well versus me just jumping at it and, and, and trying to hit the ball hard. So, a good way to compare that is if I had a grass whip or a machete and my job was to, you know, to cut thick grass for eight hours a day. 
while I wouldn't exactly yank and shove that thing around like a pit bull with a rag doll, I'd use the weight of the instrument and deliver a nice slinging action that was very, very easy to perform. So if I had a hammer and I wanted to tag a nail one shot into a two by four, I wouldn't exactly do that. I would use the weight of that hammer to give it a good tag. So that's the same thing that you're, you're getting ready to do with your golf club. So the feel that you're going to use to deliver into your picture is hugely important. It sets the stage for rhythm, for timing, for poise versus, you know, trying too hard and, and getting way too aggressive uh, and, and too desperate in that moment. So that's where, you know, the wisdom really, really pays off. So focus on what feel you're about to use to deliver into your shots and stick to the plan. And I'm going to show you next week after you hit the shot, how you're going to evaluate that shot so that you stay on track over the course of the round and not lose your bearings. Okay. We'll see you then.